So this is a video on how to paint the Alpha Legion using just the contrast paints. And in fact, we only really used one contrast paint here. Um, and I'm very happy with the way they turned out. So if you're interested in some instruction on how to paint these guys, then feel free to stay tuned and we will show you exactly how we got here from uh, Bear Models. And if you find this video interesting, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. We could always use more people. Um, anyway, stay tuned and we'll show you what uh, what uh, paint these painting these is like. So this is gonna be a video on how to paint our Alpha Legion. And in this case, what we're gonna do is use the new contrast paints, which can be a little bit different than what we were doing previously. So what we've got here is an Alpha Legion uh, Havoc, and we've got the special Alpha Legion shoulder pads on it. I've got a set of three of them. So what we're going to do here is paint them up to match the other set I had, but we're going to try to use the contrast paints to see if we can save a lot of time. So the first thing we did was we spray primed them with Corax Black Rattle Can. So we did that with all three. And then our first step, I think what we're going to do here is base coat all of the models in uh, shiny metallic. And in this case, we're going to use Rune Fang Steel. So we're going to paint everything with Rune Fang Steel, and that'll be our metallic base to then add our contrast paints over. So we're just going to start painting our model. And unfortunately, Rune Fang Steel is not a base paint because it's sort of more of a highlight paint, a layer paint. So it's going to take us a couple of coatings on this one just to get the coverage we want. So we'll do that now and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes and we'll see what it looks like. So now our layer of Rune Fang Steel is finished. And as you can see, he's nice and shiny. And we've got a good undercoating of metallic underneath here, which we're going to put our new colors over the top. The first thing we're going to do is start with this Achillean Green. And so we're just going to very carefully put it all over. And it's the contrast paint, so theoretically you put one thick layer. But in our case, we're going to be a little bit more moderate with it. But we are going to get every one of the panels from our Alpha Legion done with this color. So we didn't shade any of this model ahead of time. We just did a full coat of Rune Fang Steel and then that was it. And as you can see, this is a very nice blue turquoise color. So we've just finished with our coat of Achillean Green. And as you can see, it actually came out really, really nice. So we didn't add any other colors to it. Uh, this is pretty much our Alpha Legion color over the top of that Rune Fang Steel. So we're going to leave it here. But I want to take a minute to just discuss um, how the paint went on because it is the contrast paint. The first model, which is this one that we did, went on pretty heavy, even though I didn't think it did. Uh, so it pooled in some of these areas. So you got these dark places on the shoulder pads and the other shoulder pads and down around the legs. So seeing that as it was drying, the next ones I watered down with some water. And in succession, you got this one that's a little bit brighter. And then this last one that's a little lighter still. And these are getting very close to uh, our other system. So if you look at these last two, you'll see that one is distinctly lighter than the other, and it actually um, it actually shows really nicely. So um, so we're going to leave it like that, and we're going to move on to the trim from there. So for the trim, it's just going to be more Rune Fang Steel, and we're just going to go over all of the details with a detail brush here, and that's just all the trim. Lighten that back up, back to our Alpha Legion colors. So I'll put the trim in now, and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes to see what it all looks like. So this is our unit now that we finished our trim, and it's looking pretty Alpha Legion-y. 
So what we're going to do now is just add a little bit of gold to the laser cannon here, the laser, the last cannon. And that's just going to highlight some of the trim to make it more match our previous units. So using a little tiny bit of Retributor armor, we're just going to go along the trim here. Just like so. We're going to do the top of this as well as this piece, that piece, and the bottom trail here. So we'll do those and we'll meet back here when it's done. So this is our unit now that we finished with the Retributor armor. So we did the top as well as the two rings, the support staff. And then we also came by and I did the two capacitors on the backpack. And I did this little tiny uh, ring chain thing that's right down here. So all those are done with Retributor armor. What we'll do now is add a shade and we're probably going to do some seraphim sepia just to at least get into these grooves in the back here um, just to make them stand out a little bit more so we'll do that and we'll meet back here in a few minutes so we're just going to take our seraphim sepia shade And we're just going to wash the back coils, making them a nice warm golden color. We can pass it a little bit over the top here too. And that'll do there. So we'll leave that dry and we'll move on to our next color. So our next bit we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of Eschen Gray and we're going to go over all of these coils here, all of these cabling. So there's one there, one there, and this one splits. As well, there's one tucked right here in the center of his um, torso. So we're going to do all of those. Technically, there's one more coming around his shoulder here as well. And so all we're doing is we're painting over all of these cablings. Pay no attention to the details. We're going to fix those in a few minutes. And all we want is all the cables to be the same color. Since they've sort of collected up a bunch of different colors so far. So we'll keep going with this and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So this is our units after we finished doing all of the cabling. So the Eschen Gray is now on all of the cords. We also did the ones on the top of the head, as you can see here. Now these remain shaded just because of the underlying uh, contrast paint from the Akelian Green, except that I want to really bring that shade out a little bit more. So what we're going to do is just shade the top of the head with new oil for now. We're going to do an overall shade after, but for now I just want to clean up those before we do the highlight layer. So, and we'll do that to all of our units here. So a little bit of new oil just over the top here. Just like that, just filling in the top so it uh, gets a contrast on those cables there. And we'll do it for all the units as well. The next thing we're going to do is take a little bit of Dawn Stone, which is a very, very light gray. And with a dry brush, we're just going to go over all of those cables again. Creating a nice two-tone effect and bringing out the detail that we're looking for. Namely, we want to find all of those spots that have the uh, sheathing frayed. So you see the bare metal. So we're looking for those. So we'll finish highlighting here. We'll also highlight the top and then we'll move on from there. Now it's time to clean up the rest of the model. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of lead belcher 
and we're going to do all the metallics that we've been sitting on. So what we're going to do is the anything that's uh, chainmail, as well as any chains, um, the coils and the barrel of the las cannon, any of the metallic pieces here on the cabling here that's that's sticking out, as well as the fan, the coils, and any metallics in there, and then the chainmail on the back end again. So we're going to do all that right now with the lead belcher. And that'll help differentiate it from the Rune Fang steel trim, which is more silver. Like so. So here's a unit now that we finished with our lead belcher. And what we did was the barrel of the gun as well as the coil. We did all of the little metallic parts here that are sticking out. We did all the chain mail, all of the chains that are present. As well, we did the fan. We went over the edge of the gun here. As well as the handle on the bottom and all of the trim here that's metallic on the gun. Uh, and then the the handle at the bottom here as well and then we went over all of the coils um, where the pieces of the armor join together the flexible spots we did those as well so we did all that with our lead belcher and now what we're going to do is come over and shade all that and we're going to use our new oil again and so we're just going to in all of the armor like so as well as these areas there the flexible areas we're not going to paint over we're going to leave them as dark as we can each of these metallic spots here we're going to add the shade to Same as over here. And do the same thing to the chains and the front chain mail as well. And the other chain over here. And any more of the missing coils, we're going to do the fan in the back here. And then that'll take care of all of that. The only thing that leaves is this second coil right here. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to add a different shade. We're going to do Agrax Earth Shade there. And with that, we're going to shade that second coil. like so. So I'll wait for all those shades to dry and then we'll meet back here again to do some highlights uh, but we're almost finished. So this is our model after we finished with all of our shades and our shades have now dried so we're going to highlight back up our metallics now. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, do this metal and what we're going to do is take some iron breaker here and we're going to just dry brush that over all of the chains and pretty much everything that we lead belchered and then newel and oiled. So all of the chains as well as the fan and each of these little cabled areas that we've got here. Just like so. Like 
little dry brush just to brighten them back up. So we'll do that for the rest of the units and then we'll meet back here again. So one of the last things we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of moot green and any of these eyes of Horus, we're going to color them the moot green color. As well as the Alpha Legion logo on the shoulder pad here. Sort of like that there. And like that there. So, we'll do that for the other units and we'll be right back again. Next, we're going to take a little bit of Athonian camo shade which is a nice green shade. And we're gonna apply that very lightly over those moot green panels. So here's our final product, and as you can see, it looks actually pretty nice considering we used contrast paints. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Uh, I took a few seconds to use some Abaddon Black to put the eye uh, ball in the center of the uh, eyes of Horus. So you can see one on the chest piece on the rightmost um, model. And you can see it on the arm on the other two here, on the leftmost model here. So I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. If you like this video, uh, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. And uh, keep the conversation going. And we'll be back again um, with another painting video in another couple of days. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.